Which you guys, today we're taking a look at how to restore missing power plan options on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So we're on a Windows 11 system here, but like I've said, it does work on Windows 10 as well. So if you've got missing power plans and you want to re-add them, I'll quickly show you how to do it in this video. It's pretty quick. Now there's a couple of ways we can go about doing it, either the registry editor or we can use the command prompt. Now I do have the files here and I will zip these up and I will upload them to my website so you'll be able to download them from there. They're just the default power plan options here. As you can see, we have the ultimate performance power plan, power saver, high performance power plan, and the balance power plan. So if you want to re-enable these or reactivate these, then this is what you can do. You can download these straight from my website. I'll leave a link in the video description. Now, before we continue, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro or a cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then check out the links in the video description. Once you create an account on their website, you'll be able to click on those links and then basically use my promo code, capital B, capital R, 09 and apply this to your order and get a 30% discount on all your purchases on CD Key Sales. Once you've submitted your order, you'll be able to use PayPal to pay for your purchase. They will then send you the key. You can head over to the activation center on Windows, paste in your product key. This will be an OEM key, but it will be tied to the PC, and then you can basically activate your version of Windows. That simple. So let's go back to the computer, and what we're going to do here is type CMD in the search box and open up the command prompt as administrator. We're going to put in some commands here to import our uh, actual power plans that we've got on our PC. So type in here power cfg space dash import because we want to import the file. Then we want to do that inverted comma uh, thing, I think that's called, and then a c colon backslash then users. And then we want to do backslash then the username, which in my case is Brightek. Yours will be whatever yours is. So make sure you change that part. Then put backslash downloads. That's because the files are in my download section. Yours will be wherever you put them. And then backslash, then we're going to be calling it default underscore. And then we're going to do the name of the folder, which obviously is power and then underscore plans. And that's the name of the folder. So if you rename the folder, you will obviously have to change what you put here. Then do backslash, and now we can choose the file that we want to import into our computer. I'm going to do the ultimate, and we're going to do space performance. Once we do this, we will then be able to give it the .pow, which is what the name of the file is. And then we can close it off with the inverted uh, commas there, I think they're called. But basically, we'll just do that and push enter. So once we've got the command uh, like this, we can push enter. And you should see it imported the power scheme successfully. If you haven't uh, got the successful part there, then that means you have typed out the command wrong and you will need to look at it again. So I'm going to push the up arrow key on the cursor and basically this will bring up the command again. And we can now just use the backspace uh, key to go back and type out another one which we want to add. In this case, if it's high performance, you can type out high performance. And basically, you type that out, dot pow, and then close it off with that inverted commas, and then push enter, and it will add in the high performance in there for you as well. And basically, all you need to do once you've done that is go through the list and add them in the way you want to. So, whatever's missing, you would just go through this folder here high performance, ultra performance, power saver, and balanced. You would just add those in, and it would add those uh, power plans in the computer for you. Now, once you've done that, you will need to restart the PC. So quickly restart your PC. And once you reboot the PC and come back to the desktop, they will be added in and you will be able to then use your power plans the way you used to before. So let's quickly go back into the power plan section here to have a little quick look and see what we've added. I'm going to go to the start button here and we're going to type in here power plan. There we go. And you can see we do have the ultimate performance and we have the high performance. We have actually two of those, so I can delete one of those. We have the power saver and we have the balanced, uh, which is recommended by uh, the computer. So basically, they are our options. We've added them all back in and they are now back in working. You can just put the radio button in which one you want to choose. If you want to remove any, you can do. All you need to do here is click on change a plan. 
setting. And all you need to do is click on which one you want to remove. So I've got two high performance ones here and we don't want two of those. So we can click on this one here and you will see there is delete this plan. So let's go ahead and delete it. There we go. It's now deleted. It's that simple. So they are now back and they are about back working. So if you wanted to add a custom one in, you can do that as well. But that's out of the scope of this video. But that's basically how you can add back in all your default power plans, plus add in the ultimate performance power plan, just like that. Very simple and easy to do. So if you wanted to add in uh, another particular type of uh, plan, you can add these inside the registry editor as well. So let's go to the registry editor by typing reg edit in the search and I open up the registry editor. Always make sure you back up your registry before you make edits or changes to your registry. You can do that by clicking on computer and then file and then export and then basically give it a name, call it backup and then save that into the location of your choice. And this will be the backup of your registry. You, I would advise you to put a date on there as well, just so you know what it is. And then basically you would save that. And if you've got any problems, you can always revert back and import that registry back to the way it was before you started tinkering with it. So that's an important step that you can do. You can always create a restore point as well, which is another advisable bit of advice to give you. Okay, so let's add this registry uh, edit in here. So what we're going to do is go to where it says HKey Local Machine, open this up, go down to System, open that one up as well, and then go to Current Control Set, open that option, and then go back into where it says Control, open that one up, and we're going to go down until it says Power, and this is where the power plans are. So what we're going to do here is click on here and here you will have a list of power plans here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add in a another key here. Now the key we're going to add in is a D word 32 bit value. So right click in the open space here, go new D word 32 bit value, and then give this a name, call it C S enabled, just like I'm writing, writing out here. Make sure you've got the capital C and the capital E for enabled, just like so. And you can use this registry key to show the power plan, the high performance power plan on laptops and other uh, devices as well. If it's missing and you're forced to use the balance power plan, you can use that registry key and it should show up in uh, the actual power plan options once you've done that. You can always use those uh, files that I've showed you there as well. So another thing you can do here is we're going to go to device manager and you may see that these power plan options are missing here as well and this is due to uh, new modern day computers and also sometimes depending on what type of motherboard you've got and device sometimes the power plan options are not available uh, there so let's go ahead and add in one more registry key here we'll do this via the command prompt here and we'll add in this one here this is to force it to go to legacy settings some modern day computers will hide some of these settings by putting this key in here this is uh, adding a registry key into that power plan section called uh, platform aoac override and this will override it and force in legacy standby s3 mode uh, and this will disable the modern uh, standby uh, for uh, them systems so if you want to revert that back you can just delete that key as well if you wanted to do that now of course all this is other extra steps you can take you don't need to use these if you want to show your power plan options but if you're on a laptop and your uh, advanced power plan options are missing you can put in that cs enabled and that should uh, display it properly and there's the option right here and you could just right click and delete this if you have no use for it you don't need to add this in once your power plans options are visible to you this is just for people that are still having issues where they can't see it on uh, a new modern day system and it's been hidden. And this will just display the legacy settings on standby uh, for S3 uh, sleep mode. Anyway, that's it. You should now have all of your power plan options back available to you and active on your Windows 10 and Windows 11 system. So if you've deleted those for whatever reason or they've just disappeared, or you've got a brand new computer and they're not there and only balanced is there and you want to re-enable those, then you can use this method to make them active again so you can change them on that system. Anyway, I hope this one helps you out. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Hope you have a lovely weekend and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.